Welcome, welcome, welcome to this call, Texas morning. Welcome to Toodles World. Today is Saturday, and I'm going to shop my, excuse me, stash. For some reason, I woke up this morning. At 4 o'clock this morning, I woke up. Burp, burp, burp. I've been belching since 4 o'clock this morning. I went back to sleep, and now it's like 6 something, and I'm still burping. Burp, burp, burp. Okay. Uh, uh, my nose is still swollen right there, and then it's still sore. Oh, my God. Anyway. Did not put on makeup yet this morning. Uh, not going to. But anyway, I was using this by the bomb. I really just really want to pan this shade. I want to get me a Z palette and take some of these single shades like this and put it in a Z palette. So that way all my single shadows is cool and I can do that. So I'm going to put this little palette back in. I was using this LA Color palette. I love these little palettes. I don't know if I would purchase these again or not. They are beautiful, but look at all the fallout in my palette. It's like really ugh, a lot of fallout. But anyway, love, 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 love. I'm gonna putting that up. This mascara I got for Christmas, Lash Splash Clean Waterproof Mascara. Oh my god. The one on this brush. I love this brush, and the wand, it doesn't bend. I don't like it when the neck of the brush bends, because the neck of the brush bends, that means it's not going to be very good. And you don't have to double dip your mascaras either. You know me and double dipping my, my concealers. I hate double dipping concealers. I hate that. I was using this Revlon lip gloss. It is in Project Pan. But I did some damage, but I'm going to put it up. I was using this face primer by Revlon. I did buy a Revlon. Was it a Revlon product yesterday? I did a foundation. And I was looking to get another one of these. And I didn't see this. It said on a face product. So. And my husband goes, every time we go to Kroger, you always buy makeup. I said, no, not every time. I do get a book. So. And I was using the LA Color Liquid. Sorry about the lighting. The light is still messing up. I do not know why. But like I said, I was going to get another lamp and put over there so I had more light when I was working at my computer. <clears throat> this is in Project Pan. This lipstick stays in Shop My Stash at all times. I just, just wanted to bring the shade and show y'all that I will be doing an update project pan video soon so don't worry about that I have this lip gloss which is also in project pan I use this a lot a lot this month I have been reaching a lot for this and if you watched my no I have not. When you won't, I did a, my Monday review. When you watch my Monday review, you will see the lipstick that I was using a lot this month, too. I picked the lightest shade of these lip gloss to do for Shop My Stash, or, well, not Shop My Stash, but for Project Pan, because it is so, like, really, really small. But it's good, and I definitely, definitely do like it. It stays in shop my stash. Because then if I need to, I can reach for it. Love this lipstick. Love this shade. I definitely would repurchase this lipstick. I actually even told my husband this was a lipstick that I got at Walgreens. And I definitely would repurchase it again. And he's like, really? And I was like, I would like to buy this now, eventually, as a backup because this I feel like it's gonna go pretty fast this year and it's gonna get really small 
that one's going put up because I have a lot of L'Oreal lipsticks, but I think that one is going to go pretty good. For me to pick starting next shot my stash, not this shot my stash, but the next shot my stash, I want to count how many L'Oreal lipsticks I have. I want to write down numbers and then I'm going to draw. And that number I draw will be the number of that lipstick. So it's like this one is 214. I can write down 214 or I can call it number one, you know, and then draw it. I love this Tattoo Studio Brow. This part doesn't, does it come I guess it does come out. Come out. But you have your little brush where you brush the brows to the way you want it. After you put the brow product on, the brow product is like a pencil, but not a pencil, but like a crayon. And you put it on your brows and then you take this. Now for this product, because I've been using it, that's how much I have left. And if I get another, if I get a, another coupon for Maybelline products, I'm definitely going to pick up another one of these. I definitely want to get another one of those. That's my preference. I like it. I don't have to always run out my high-end makeup to look gorgeous. You know, I do have some high-end makeup, but I don't have to buy it. You can use drugstore makeup and look just as good as wearing high-end makeup. The Revlon bra, blah, 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 blush. Um, I know I said I wanted to keep this out until I use it up, but I'm going to switch blushes for a while because this one's kind of, you know, and it is in Project Pan. So. <clears throat> I used the Revlon Color Stay like this powder this one is actually a, a, i should have got another one of these yesterday this is in pale i should have got this shade up but instead i got a liquid foundation yesterday but i should have got another one of these and got it a higher up shade next time i will do that i'm still keeping in the revlon and the maybelline erase concealers this one it's at its wit's end. It's about to be done. So if I do decide to put on makeup today, it'll be gone. And you stop. Or whenever the next time I put on makeup. I was using the number seven. Uh, it's bronzer. I don't know. I don't think I put a, a bronzer. I don't think I put a bronzer in here at all. I think I was going to use this again. I think I'm going to use this again. I'm going to leave this one in here and use it again. And then I have my Elf. I love the Elf one. Elf Camo Powder. Mm -hmm. This is in light 210. I got it in light. And I think the next time I get by this, I don't want 210. I don't want light. I need it to be a little darker. But that's okay. And then I have for highlighter, I have my Wet n Wild highlighter. This is a little too dark for me, so... I'm going to put that one up. Put this back in here. Let's get into the makeup I am going to be using. Because I don't want this video to be 50 billion miles long. I am using this CoverGirl Last Blush Fusion Water Resistant Mascara. I'm using the NYX Bright Marker. I don't really care too much for this face primer, but I'm using it this week. And then I'm bringing in my Little Pony lip gloss this week. I'm also bringing in the Milani Tutti Free one as well to use this week as well. I'm bringing in my LA Color Powder because if you see, there's not much in here. So I may keep this in here until it's gone. 
I'm bringing in this little Quinique palette. Uh, for this one, I'm hoping I can hit pan on this shade this, this next two weeks. I'm bringing in my Wet n Wild palette, replacing it with the other palette I put up. Got this L'Oreal lipstick in 106. I can't read the name of it, but it's 106. But that's what it looks like. Um, I'm bringing in this lip gloss. I'm bringing in my LA Color Powder. I'm also bringing in my True uh, L'Oreal True Match Foundation. Of course, you know I've been using it. <laughs> And then I'm also bringing in my LA Color Show Off Blush and Highlighter. Um, here's my blushes I'll be using. And then I have this highlighter I definitely will be using. And I have panned this blush, but I'm going to have to use this highlighter, whether I like it or not. But I have panned this blush. I definitely want to purchase this again. But it's going to be a while, so I'm going to leave that out. Last but least, I'm bringing in Dip Shape and Go NYX Brow. So. So, guys, that is it for the Shop My Stash video. I hope you enjoyed. If you do, give it a thumbs up. And until next time, bye, guys.